Okay, this will be very quick, I promise. Um, actually, I just want to start off by thanking uh, the Erie Gymnastics Center. Um, you know, basically a couple months ago, um, received a call from uh, Doug Pershing, who's the actual owner and director of Erie Gymnastics. And initially, we didn't make contact at first. These guys can relate. Sometimes when my phone rings, I'm so busy, it might take a day or two to get back. Uh, and then I met an uh, individual. Uh, she was a uh, CEO, she was a uh, president board, uh, Jill Little. She finally, we actually touched base when I was out of town, um, explained that they were, it was, there was an upcoming wonderful opportunity for the Police Athletic League um, where uh, the uh, annual National Stars and Stripes uh, Invitational, which they, which they do yearly at the uh, Bayfront Convention Center, Essentially, they wanted to know if we'd send our PAL staff down to uh, help work the event, uh, volunteer our time, and basically market and advertise PALs. Um, so thank God that we did that because we met some wonderful, wonderful people uh, that was affiliated through the Erie Gymnastics uh, Center. Um, and as you can see, we have all the uh, athletes. I think we got nicknames for each and every one of them uh, when we were there uh, throughout the whole weekend. And uh, what was fun, during that uh, process, during that event, is us officers, we got to hand out awards uh, to all the uh, gymnasts. And there were 1,700 competitors, so these were 18-hour days. And uh, we actually learned and got an education. Um, I mean, one of the most disciplined athletes are sitting right there. I, the things that these women uh, and men could do um, is just un unbelievable. So. We thank you on behalf of uh, the City of Erie and on behalf of uh, the Police Athletic League for actually giving us that invitation. Um, so at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, Doug Pershing and uh, Jill Little to come up and talk a little bit about their gymnastics. Uh, thanks for, for intro. Um, I'll try and keep it short as well, um, which is hard for me to do. So, <laughs> Stars and Stripes is um, an annual competition we started back in 2001. Um, we decided as a club we were going to host a big gymnastics invitational. The Junker Center at uh, Penn State Barron was just built, and we were one of the first big events that they were going to have up there. We signed the checks for all the deposits on the equipment and such on September 10th, 2001. Next day was 9-11, and that sort of changed our world. We didn't know if we were actually even going to have a competition. Um, <coughs> we decided instead of calling it the first annual Groundhog Day Invitational, we decided we were going to call it Stars and Stripes, and we were going to dedicate it to the brave heroes, the fire, the police, the military, rescue workers um, going forward. That first year we started with 225 athletes. Since then it has continued to grow and grow and grow over the years until at which point um, we actually started making a profit on it. At that point we decided to start giving back to the community. Every year we pick a charity and we prefer to pick a local charity. Um, not that there aren't some good national charities but we wanted to see the work or the, the, the proceeds from what we could generate go right back to the Erie community where we could see and monitor it. So um, to date now we're over $100,000 for numerous worthy organizations. Um, and uh, this year the event has grown to uh, 1,700 athletes. Um, and I thank the Erie Sports Commission who's here as well um, for helping promote that. We moved the moved it around until it came to the beautiful Bayfront Convention Center and um, that's where it stands now. This event is the largest co-ed gymnastics competition in the state of Pennsylvania right now. One of the largest on the East Coast. So we brought teams in this year as far away as uh, Puerto Rico um, that came in for it. So um, we chose Erie Pal um, as our organization this year. I heard a little bit through Jill who said, you got to talk to this guy. And he was really hard to track down. Um, but we were, as 
I started to research it, because I have to explain it to the people that come, I started researching what Erie Powell has done. And the bridging of the community gap in this polarized world we live in right now, where our police are making an effort to work with the kids and such, and, and just seeing some of the Facebook posts, the 200 bicycles that they gave away to kids, some of those kids never had a bicycle before, that's fantastic. It's fantastic. So we were honored to invite Tom and the organization down there, and I have to say they were the most enthusiastic crew <laughs> that has ever attended. Um, they started doing duties they didn't even, we didn't even need them for. I walked by and all of a sudden I saw some of the officers, they're, they're announcing awards. They're, they're naming, naming the kids, and uh, that's a difficult task because some of the kids have really difficult names. At any rate, this year we collected $10,000 that we wish to present Tom with today for Erie Powell, and uh, we want to thank him for all that he's doing for the community. Bring that up. And the kids. What? And the children. I, that's up to him. Tom. <laughs> you want the gymnast? And it, if I can bring the gymnast up because it is their hard work, it was their hard work and a lot of their parents' hard work that made this all possible. So, Tom. Yep. You guys spread around in the front here. Okay. Try and look cute. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Come on, everybody pile up front here. Uh, can I have the kids hold the check? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, hold it down in front of you. <laughs> You're cutting my picture out there. Hey. <laughs> Tom Lennox or anyone else wants to stand on their hands before they leave the stage, you can go ahead and do that. All right. <laughs> you guys can do it. Everybody wants to do a handstand, go ahead. <laughs> Just a couple at a time. You're going to take out the cameras. Here, Bubs, you can do one. I know she can hold one for forever. So, do one right here. For the mayor. Okay. Ready? Thank you, uh, Sergeant Lennox and, and everyone that works on the Police Athletic League. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Doug. We really appreciate the donation. It's a great collaboration that shows how much more we can accomplish when we work together. Thank you for devoting your time and money to this wonderful initiative. Over the course of the last three years, Sergeant Lennox and his team and his team have nearly quadrupled the number of students attending and benefiting from the camp. As long as I'm mayor, I can tell you the Police Athletic League is going to continue to grow. Thanks also to Doug Pershing uh, for, for this donation to the Erie Police Department and the PAL program. And finally, thanks to all police officers who work in the PAL program throughout the school year and during the summer camp. <laughs>